So today went a lot rougher than I anticipated because I was not taking into account the bottle caps. And that's the surrogate heifer that took on those two and she has been watching me like a freaking hawk. I do have a new baby and we'll go check it out here in a minute. I'm just waiting for this little girl to finish eating. And I may have to come back over with a shot. May just not give her the whole thing. Loose. Okay. Uh, she's just not as filled out as I would like her to be. Let's see if mom will kind of take her back right here. Wipe her clean from my smell. You can take her. Um, I do have a new baby, so let's go find it real quick. Uh. So I do have a new one right here. So there's a new baby. 58, not 57, I apologize. Mm. Uh, so this is my life, guys, in a nutshell. <laughs> so, eventful morning. I am now muddy. I am hot. And, well, a little bit excited because I do have a new baby over there. <laughs> I may need a new phone in the process because uh, I dropped it. And then Lucy thought it was, you know, a treat, so she was trying to eat it. Ah, uh, what's this? I do have a cow that's taking a baby over in the corner, and I'm not sure if it's my new mom or another mom. Because <sighs> uh, we did have another one over here, 54, I believe. She's got her calf down here in the woods. So I'm just going to kind of make a brief track through here. I still have chores to finish up at home before I go start homeschooling. <sighs> Should have brought the kids along because <laughs> this would have been a real adventure for them. Actually, not really because they see it every day. Okay. Nope, that's that new calf over here in the woods. Let's see if I can't get a little bit closer and try to get Jason's picture for him. She's going to take him right down into the woods, which is okay because it's a little bit warmer down here and a little bit more coverage. I'll flip you guys around so you guys can see him. Easy, mama. He's up. He's moving. He's looking good. I thought for sure she might have two in there as big as she is, but who knows. I did get the other video loaded from yesterday that explains what I'm doing with this cute little milk bottle over here at the creek farm. Uh, you guys can hit that button right there and watch it directly after this one. Unless you've already seen it, then watch it again. Make sure you guys are hitting that red subscribe button. Leave me a comment because guys, this is a huge leap of faith for me. Um, I am not a public speaker at all. Um, this is totally out of my comfort zone. Most of the time, it's not so bad because there's nobody out here besides cows. Cows don't care. Um, <laughs> this is as real as it gets. My Jason did bring up the John Deere Big Baler. I think he's going to wash it and we're going to maintenance it and get everything kind of lined out. Um, we are several weeks away still from hay season but you never know what comes up in between then and now we still have a lot of fence to put up we do want to move cows and calves around so in order to have that we have to have more paddocks and I am out of breath you guys um, I'm sort of all over the place because my mind kind of runs in that direction sometimes especially when I get a little anxious it was 110 not just 95. <laughs> it is very muddy over here. Okay, not in every direction, but right here at the entrance to some of these paddocks, because of course we drive over it with the JX. Um, we did swap tractors mid-winter. We were running the John Deere 44 over here with the round bale, or round bale, ha ha, to give round bales. We swapped for a lighter tractor, and uh, it has definitely made a difference. But we've just had so much rain. So much. It's like rained every day, pretty much. I hope some of this rain 
comes mid-July, August, when we need it. Um, thankfully, we only do hay. We do not do any row cropping. Tried that, didn't work out very well on like 30 acres. <laughs> but that was from another story. We just do hay. Um, so we're not chomping at the bit. Okay, I lied. I am chomping at the bit a little bit to be back in the 52 and bail. But that's only because I'm desperate for some vitamin D and sunshine. But um, we're not like typical farmers right now that are like cursing the weather uh, completely because we can't get in and work ground. Um, we do have a few places we do need to work, but that's just, you know, it'll come. Um, I do have an alfalfa plot that we planted on my birthday last year in September, uh, right after we took out the TIF. If we ever get some sunshine and some decent weather, I will definitely take you guys down to that. Um, I'll snip in a picture of it right now so you guys can see kind of what it looks like at the moment. I am almost back to the truck. And uh, this is how I get my cardio, guys. I no longer go to the gym. Um, I don't work out. I ride horses. I work the fields with Jason. I walk a lot. I pick up feed bags. I wrangle calves. No need for the gym membership, but I do miss it. Um, I do keep taking supplements to keep my bones and muscles from uh, getting bogged down. Um, I am Jason's right hand man right now. So like yesterday we pulled a tranny out of his parents' suburban. <sighs> so it's not completely off our mark. I just don't usually post too much of the shop work because it's not my favorite thing to do. <sighs> okay, I'm back at the truck. And you guys are probably sick of watching me. So, <sighs> leave me a comment, please. Um, those do mean a lot to me. Like I said, this is out of my comfort zone. This is something new. I The blog is something that I completely love doing because it's just typing out my thoughts and re-editing and going back and retyping. This is all pretty much me just spitting out words. <laughs> Freeform. So let's pray I don't get stuck and need to call and bribe Jason to come over because that didn't work very well earlier. Cass did drink um, over half of the bottle in case you were wondering. Um, I wasn't going to force her to drink it. I let her fill her tummy because I just, I don't want her to have too much from me and not take from the cow. I want her to keep drinking from her mama because I don't want to bring her home. Anywho, headed back to the shop and uh, finish things up. And now I'm going to homeschool. Wish me luck. Have fun in quarantine wherever you're at. Um, and I'll catch you later. decided to shine and uh, we're back over at the creek farm. Come on Sky. Out Sky. Come on. Go. Okay. I brought reinforcements to help. Actually, I brought the tractor driver and he can kind of send away. Walking. It's now 60. Much better than it was this morning finally came out about three. Soak up some vitamin D. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow will be equally as nice. <sighs> tomorrow is another busy, busy day. Jason's gonna run a load of hay <sighs> down around St. Louis area to a feed store. And then uh, he is off with a road trip. I'm not sure if I have privilege to tell you about this. I'll have to ask the farmer if he wants that all broadcasted. Not sure. We'll find out. I walked. We drove. Jump on the tractor. Get hay done. Get this bottle. Get back home. 
and then it's another chores at home and do stuff with the kids. Get Jason lined out for tomorrow. Baby. You know your baby's out, 48? Come on. So ultimately I may end up having to bring this calf home. Mom's still nursing her though. Mom still likes her. Let's see. How's your butt? That's all right. Get you up and get you some milk. It does not. Come on. Mama just heard it. She's up there in that middle pile. She just stuck her head up. All right, little girl. Come on. Let's go this way. No. I've talked about him a little bit before. Um, this is one of our other bulls. Um, we just picked him up in January. He is a red Simmental Angus cross. Um, Slay Redemption. And I don't know the rest of his. Um, registered name I think I want to I want to say it's Slay Redemption 43 because it's his year's tag he has a baby ball um, these are the cows that are being bred um, it is absolutely a mud lot over here I hate it husband Jason hates it nothing we can do about it it's our sacrifice lot for the year we will come back and scrape this all down and redrill um, we are going to move these guys tomorrow because I will be here by myself putting out hay the next probably two days or so. This guy is our other bull. He's out of my uncle herd. He is a side and stricker genetic bull, side gen bull. I don't know all his fancy 
stuff. He is not registered or anything like that. Um, he was a bottle calf and uh, one of two, Lucy, who's number one in the other herd, um, they started the cow calf herd for us. A funny story, um, my cow herd started when I was eight of my own. Started with a black bull and a Hereford cross heifer that we bought for like, I think the bull was maybe a hundred bucks and the heifer was 50. And those were my first two. Bottle calved them, bred them, grew my herd from them. So it's kind of um, really nice to uh, be able to say, hey, this came turn around because I did the same exact thing with this herd. Um, of course, we bought a lot of, actually, we bought all of them other than the cows that we, um, the calves that we've birthed out of bullet, of course. Uh, hi, buddy. What are you doing? So the bottle calf 56, um, I was a little concerned about it when I first got over here. It was just kind of laying kind of funky. Um, I tried to bottle feed it. She really wasn't having any of it. Got her moved up, picked up, walked her around a little bit. She went right to nursing mom. Mom took her off to the hay pile and she seems okay now. I may come back over and check her after a while just to ease my mind. I'd hate to lose a calf just from me not doing enough on my side. I really don't want to bring her home, especially with Jason leaving. But if that's what I gotta do, that's what I'll do.